well. It's been one hell of a day today. What have we here? 1.9 miles down the road from the Moroni Harley Davidson dealership, we have Orange County Choppers, home headquarters, the multi million dollar Taj Mahal facility that they've created here. It's off the hook. I've been here before. Um, this is a place you want to go to uh, around lunchtime or dinner time because they have a kick ass restaurant in here. They also have a museum here uh, full of bikes that were created by, by the uh, uh, shop here. Paul Sr. and Paul Jr., as you know, have become nationally, internationally recognized uh, stars in the industry. In fact, there's a, if you Google Donald Trump and Orange County Choppers, they actually made a motorcycle for President Trump and Sr. drove it right into the, right into the uh, Trump Tower facility like he owned the place, which is awesome. So these guys are, you know, they, they've probably the most recognized motorcycle family on the planet and uh, even more recognizable than the Willie G. Davidson. In fact, they were on the Super Bowl halftime and uh, you know you know, you made it big when you're on the Super Bowl halftime and at the peak of their popularity, you couldn't go into a truck stop in the country and not run into Orange County Chopper memorabilia or artifacts. So these guys are the real deal. They've accomplished more than, than most everyone I, I know in the industry. Um, and they started from humble beginnings doing what they love to do, building kick-ass choppers. As we navigate around the parking lot here trying to find a place to park my 50-foot long rig full of uh, Goldilocks and the three Dinas in the back here, maybe we'll get lucky and run into Senior or Mikey or Junior or somebody in there, you never know. Like any business, they started with humble beginnings, uh, doing a, you know, a few choppers here and there, and they developed their own style. They did, they um, were the forefront and leaders of the chopper phenomenon that lasted for two decades, and it's kind of metamorphosed uh, into, it's not the, quite the craze it used to be, but there's still a uh, big demand for the the, um, the big wheel baggers and uh, the FXR models, and um, there's always somebody out there who, who wants a kick-ass custom motorcycle, so they're still making it happen here. Ironically, they use the software of my good friend Mark Summers. They use Mastercam software to build their motorcycles and uh, they make some amazing products here. So let me find a spot in here now that we've done a lap around the place. If you're coming up from down south and you want to make a event of coming to this area, um, Newburgh, New York here, you can stop here and also as you know Moroni Harley Davidson which I just left is 1.9 miles down the road so you could practically walk here from Moroni's and uh, next door here last time I came here there's a nice hotel I stayed at the hotel it's a really nice facility and when you're here you're only a little over two hours away from the New England Motorcycle Museum so you can come to the Orange County Chopper Museum here see the world's finest custom choppers get a bite to eat they also have a pool table in here they've got um uh, tours of the shop that you can take and all kinds of memorabilia for sale and a great bar and restaurant so you can have a couple cold ones also management is not responsible for theft or damage to vehicles or contents well my three dinas are in there and I'll be responsible for any theft me and Mr. Mossberg will take care of that and my hammer of justice but in here you're about to see that's a whole other story I hate bike thieves I hate thieves in, in general Wait till you see what's inside here. Look at these bikes. This place is off the hook. Fantastic facility. Here's a shovel head soft tail that Orange County Choppers built. It's not a hard tail like some choppers. Probably a nice riding bike. And there's the guys right there, Senior. And this guy's. There's a flathead. Here's a Comanche bike. It's a U.S. Army attack Comanche helicopter beam built in 2003. They had three episodes. Here's a dream bike, March 7th and March 14th, 2005. The concept of a dream bike 
it was a concept of a web theme bike to a new level. So, like the dream catcher, pretty wild, huh? Where's the gasoline going it? Wow. Look at this panhead chopper right here. It's a David Mann panhead. Looks like a set of twin downdraft Del Ordo carburetors. Wow, theme, old school. Originally aired in 2004, that was 15 years ago. Man, I'm getting old. Look at this knucklehead here, Orange County Chopper knucklehead. This is a rigid frame with a uh, FLH style front end. Here's a Make-A-Wish Foundation chopper, another hardtail chopper with springs under the seat. Another badass hardtail. Paul Senior Old School. This is a 2003. They've been building custom buses like this since the 90s. This is a National Fallen Heralds Memorial bike. The OCC Aragon bike. Dragon themed motorcycle. Look at this. It's like a dragon shaped tank and scales on it and totally handcrafted. Here's one in particular interest. The, the uh, Red Knights would have appreciated this. We had Red Knights from 17 states and four countries visit the museum recently. So I haven't been here in a few years. The last time I came here was, shit, it had to be seven, eight years ago before we even opened the museum. I just bought the property, so it was kind of inspiring coming here and seeing this place. Not kind of, it's totally inspiring. This is a tribute to the 9-11. All kinds of t-shirts and memorabilia and toys and stuff. Very cool. The game room in here. Sure what this is, but it looks like a little tank. It's pretty wild. Wow. Look at that, huh? Beautiful colors, red and white. Nice Norton, I think it's stunning. This is a Santa, Santa bike. They built a bike to tow a sleigh, how cool is that? That's freaking awesome. Wow. Very cool. Police bike. Look you know, how cool that is. Hi, how are you? Hi. <laughs> are you doing tours of the shop today? How do I get a tour of the shop? Until. This is a cool piece of soft tail chopper. Actually makes it rideable without messing up your back. If you got an old back like mine, we've got a really good. If you got kids or if you're a big kid, they've got the uh, all the games here, um, video games. It's almost like a video arcade. That's a big thing these days. Pool tables.
How you doing? Yeah, just taking a look around, doing a video for our uh, for our channel, for our YouTube channel. Our, yeah, we have a lot of viewers that like seeing motorcycle videos, so. Yeah, there's one there, and then we have like three. Okay. And then we have some pictures. What's your name? Ada. Ada? Yep. How long have you worked here? A year. A year? Yeah, a year this summer. Do you see Paul Sr. here a lot? He's here a lot? Not recently. They have a lot of bike shows going on. Um, but he eats here. Or we deliver food to the shop. Either way. He's here. Awesome. All right, thank you. Senior must like British bikes too. You got the BSA in here and the Norton on the other side. We, we have the exact same bike in the museum. And I think we have a Triumph or someone with this one too. This is the Orange County Choppers Cafe. So you can come here, they have really good food, and they have an awesome bar, and a stage for live music. Choppers everywhere. That's a cool display. Evo engine with a some big chrome stacks. Live music every weekend. Band starts at 9 p.m., no cover. How about that? Thursday night's karaoke with Mikey. So I guess Mikey actually comes here on, on uh, Thursday nights. How cool is that? Chubby Checker, military guys, Nicholas Cage. George Posada, Steven Tyler. Will Smith, Russell Crowe, David Letterman, Sylvester Stallone and Paul Sr., Tony Stewart and Paul Sr., General Patras and Paul Sr., Billy Joel came here too. Paul and his dog. Some serious legends and heroes have been here. See these guys. Tony Stewart and Paul Sr. Army National Guard. How cool is that? It's got international recognition for what they've done, what they've created, a lifestyle. Total uh, American badasses. Very cool. Food smells good. Good thing I'm not hungry. Thanks to Christie's good home cooking. My belly's full. Barnett, Charlie Davidson. So there's some of the keys to their continued success. Mikey's still around. 
and uh, they have live music every Friday night, and lots of fun stuff for the family to do here. Dart boards. How cool is that? Nine one one memorial. All kinds of games. So you come here with the kids, have dinner, and games, check out the bikes. Nice hotel next door. You've got Motorcyclopedia, literally two miles down the road. Maroney Harley Davidson, one of the oldest Harley dealerships in the country, right up the street. And lots to do and see in this area. What do you say we do a tour of the uh, shop now? Of course. You ready? Yeah, let's go. I just gotta wait for her to come back. Okay, so we're about to take a tour of the Orange County Chopper shop back here, which I've, I've been through maybe eight years ago, and I have to shut the video off when we get to the area that they're actually uh, building a current bike so that it has to stay private, but we'll show you what we can. So there's Mikey's office on the left-hand side. Yep. This is Mikey. kind of his gallery. Mikey's office and his gallery, he's an artist. So that bike is off limits over there. Okay, don't look at that one. So yeah. this, is, this is where all the magic happens back here. They have a lot of high-tech stuff. This is, they're a true manufacturer. They build everything from the frames up, wheels, the CNC machine, the wheels. Yep. So this bike's up on the wall over there that they built before, and the one that we can't see is over there. <laughs> Here's some pictures of some they built. Whose shoes are those? Holy those are shit. actually Shaq shoes. Man. Size 23s. That's unbelievable. Yeah. He had size, size 23 shoes. I have size 12. His shoes are like twice the size of mine. And this is actually the bike that they made for him. Wow! And he was superimposed it, his championship ring on there. Was he? A, was he? A, um, was it a huge motorcycle? Because he's a huge man. Yeah, they had to extend the how rear how tank. Tall and a how, how tall is Shaq? Seven feet. Holy shit! Matter of fact, this, there's a notch here underneath the Navy flag, and that's how tall he was in the building. Where is it? Right here. Right here. That this tape. This tape. That's yeah. how tall he was. Seven foot tall. Man, but he was just big. Everywhere, man. He's like, yeah. I'm 6'2", and, and, and he's just like twice as wide as me. That was a freaking monster. Uh, he didn't have too much trouble getting rebounds, huh? No, no. There's actually a photo along the end of the tour where he's standing next to Senior, and you'll see the height difference. See, 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 he looks like a monster compared to Senior, I'm sure. Senior's not that tall, right? How, how tall is Senior? About my height, maybe a foot or an inch taller. Yeah. Maybe six feet. What, what's the scoop with, with this right here? What is that? Is that a CNC machine dragon head or something? Or? All right, so... This bike here was made for a private client wow. out in Beijing, China. That's freaking insane. And it's insane. actually the most expensive bike they ever built. It looks ridiculous, man. It must have cost a fortune. Yeah. Well, I'm told that the uh, the dragon is actually made or coated in gold. Wow. And it's sitting in this guy's museum. And this is the model, the head that they made in a I saw that this bike right here, the Patriots bike, that was actually sold at a, a rally last uh, last winter. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that bike was supposed to come to the museum, but somebody bought it. Yes. Daddy? Yeah. Wants to join you. It's a private tour, sorry. Museum tour only. Private tour. I was only kidding. He could have came. Yeah, but we're happy to do so. You know, to start over and you know bring him back. I'm, I'm rather right just pull him right after. How long have you been here? About two months now. Definitely a cool place to work, huh? Oh yeah, definitely. If you got to work, this is a place to be. <laughs> Laid back. <coughs> the guys are awesome. Back Ooh, the tire here. machines are beautiful. Well, I guess the rims are super expensive, so the tire machines have to be uh, really high tech. They don't maul the rims. Put a lot of it's <coughs> money and thought into building this place. Absolutely, it's a, a purpose-built facility. These are seniors' bikes over here on the left. These are his personal motorcycles. Yeah, the ones he rides. Just, just a few of them. Yeah. Wow, cool. A stripped-down bagger, a road king, 
a little Honda 250 was there for riding around the pits. A little shovel head, a twin cam Springer. Well, that's interesting. That's a shovel head uh, FXB, I think, probably 70s or early 80s. That's pretty cool. Wow. And the Cowie Ninja, some of their toys. This is cool. Look at this chopper. Wow. I wonder if this is one they built many moons ago or one that they're just retrofitting and getting running again. This is nice, huh? Look at this piece. United States. NASA. Wow, what's the scoop on this one? NASA? Is it NASA Harley? Yeah, I think they a, built it years ago. That thing's badass. Our journey into space will go on. President George W. Bush, 2003. How awesome is that? Wow. Very cool. A lot of guys think that they actually that shows fake by the building in, uh, on the stage. So it's it, kind of cool that you It's not. This it. is the real deal, man. It's yeah. definitely not fake. It's This is reality TV. It's real stuff. We get to see some of the, the cameras, vintage triumph. things back there that they use to film the show on. Very cool. That's the paint booth. So they do the painting on site here, and they have a machine shop where they actually build the uh, um, the inside here. This is a, the... Uh, that's the, um, yeah, the machine, machine tools. Yeah, Sam Blasting booth. That's our loading dock there. OrangeCountyChoppers.com. That's his wall of fame. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Shaq next to Senior. Yeah, Shaq's a freaking monster. Who's going to get the rebound, Shaq or Senior? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I picked Shaq. How's, he, how's Shaq doing? How old is Shaq now? I'm not sure how old he is, but from what I've heard, the people that actually met him, they say he's an awesome, genuine, nice guy. I wonder how how his, how his knees and everything are holding up after being such a high level athlete. A lot of those guys, you know, they wear out their bodies, giving hundred percent on the court. Hopefully, he's still healthy. So we can't go past into there. Oh, this is a machine shop. Can't go in there. Yeah. The tour they used to let you go right through here. Let when I had ten years ago. Started getting hurt or running into stuff. Oh yeah, people are just stupid. You can't bring them in there. Look at this amazing stuff they make here. All CNC machine. They use master cam, which is my buddy Mark Summers' company. Wow. Look at this axe. That's like a primeval axe. I love that. That's wild. Well, that's you the sword over at uh, where the dragon head was? No, I didn't. On the other side, check it out. Wow. Awesome high tech shop here at Orange County Choppers. I guess if you're going to build the best motorcycles in the world, you have to have the best high tech equipment, uh, CNC machining tools, and everything else. So. Is that their original sign or something like that? That the orange? Is it orange? I'm not sure. There must have been another side to that. I know there's a lot of original things back here that they haven't painted over or they haven't replaced. It's kind of nostalgic. Man, I'd love to get get that sign for the museum. I wonder if they'd sell it to us. Is it part of this? It seems orange like it County up Chappers. Right above it. Or part of it. Very cool. Set. We should have some Orange County memorabilia in the museum. In fact, I'm going to buy some of those posters you have out front, the signed ones, and put one in the museum. It's a must-have. Wow, look at that. Was that part of the dragon bike build? No, I think it's just yeah. something that they did. What do you think, guys? <laughs> Is this a sword of justice or what? Wow, this puts the hammer of justice to shame. Man. On the way in, you turn sideways and <laughs> rip their intestines <laughs> right out. <laughs> Bike thieves, beware. I have a new weapon, and I'm coming for you. No joke. I have this anti-thief uh, campaign. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keeps them on their toes. Working with all the... MCs and RCs and law enforcement agencies uh, teaming everybody up to put bike thieves out of business is my, my part-time job. <laughs> Back out to the showroom. Thank you for the tour. Oh, do you want to Is it worth is checking out the upstairs or anything cool up there? They're, they have a laser tag arena upstairs that they're that Let's they take go. a look at. It. Laser tag, huh? That's the kids might like to see. This is the upstairs where they have post birthday parties. They have a little bar here. And, uh, 100 chairs it looks like great spot for a reception or something they've had 
birthday parties, christenings, I think bridal showers up here. That's it's awesome. Standard. Where do they do the laser tag? This is awesome. This is something I never knew. They have laser tag in here. It's, dude, it's awesome. They have these, um, wow. What a great use of the space, huh? Yep. Is this pretty popular? Yeah, no, definitely. So a lot of people come here and pl play laser tag? Wow, it looks really high tech the way they did it with all the different colors and stuff. Jeez. It's a good time. Wow, do you ever play it yourself? I haven't. Kids must love this, huh? Yeah. It's, it's, kind of, it's really brand new. They came in here, they cleaned it up, they redid the whole thing. They weren't using the space probably, right? No, I think it was dead space and arcade guys came in and built it. Wow, them. so the arcade guys set up the arcade and the laser tag? Yep. That's brilliant. Good thinking. Great way to get the uh, the kids and the families here to, to and then, then they're hungry afterwards. Go downstairs and or send the kids up and do this while they're sitting downstairs eating, drink, eating and drinking. Right? Yeah. Brilliant. And then they uh, they're building escape rooms. I don't have the keys for that to get in there. Wow. But they're building escape rooms. Right That's a new big new thing, right? Yeah, little puzzles and stuff to do that. Wow. And in the basement, they're going to do eventually go-karts. There's a basement, too? Yep, there's a basement. It's dead dirty. It's, the, you, the they need to clean it out. The facility is huge. You've got not just the retail floor. You've got a second floor above there where you have all of this laser tag and uh, the event space out here. And then you have a basement that's going to be converted for go-karts. Brilliant. So there's the event space out there. It's huge. And then you've got the arcade uh, or laser tag over there. And then the reception area right here. Very cool. One-stop shop for family fun. You've got the motorcycle tours of one of the greatest reality shows ever. And if you love motorcycles, then they have the gift shop. Then you've got the bar. You've got the gift shop. You've got the restaurant. You've got, what else? Laser tag. Laser tag. Escape rooms. Arcade. Um, and soon to be go-kart racing. Yep, soon to be future. What a fantastic use of the space. And the go-kart space is gonna be below here, but in, out here you can see all the all the machines. So a bunch of great ideas. Uh, uh, success leaves clues and there's a lot of clues in here. What's your name, young man? Jesse. Jesse, pleased to meet you. Pleased cool meet you. tattoos. Ah, thank you. Awesome. You got any motorcycles on there? No, this is all the Alien vs. Predator. Now that so, you work at OCC, you got to put some. some well, you got the other arm to work on. Well, I got to get the mic first. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe Senior can hook you up. Yeah, hopefully. You got a lot to choose from. Well, thanks for your time, and uh, uh, I'll put this up on our YouTube channel, so England Motorcycle Museum. Check it out tonight. Please right. subscribe and like the channel. Sh share the video if you would right. with your friends. I appreciate it. Thank thanks for the coming. tour. God bless America for kick-ass businesses like Orange County Chopper.